Hi everybody, Stefan here and today I want to talk about the best deck Beluga. I have to admit something to you. Indeed, I did have a relationship with Miss Lewinsky that was not appropriate. Oh no, not that. I meant I had the Beluga before it actually before anyone did a review on YouTube and I just thought I first review the Rhino then I checked and still there was no other review and then I did other stuff and then I totally forgot and now when I look there were 50 reviews some dating back six months I don't even know how long I've had this knife lying near my table and not being reviewed well better late than never this is the knife it looks like this no let's be serious this is the regular or the stone washed version and there is another one in two tone which puts this here the straight parts in black and the green the od green at knife center is also a two-tone and like i said there's one with a black handle in a two-tone this is one of Bestec's finest cheap knives which you can get for 52 dollars and pretty much also for 52 euros it has a fantastic action it just flies open and i don't think let me try if i can misfire it no okay i just just to break the teeth detent it opens automatically so there is no way to misfire that let's go into the dimensions let's get rid of this we have an overall length of 7.5 inches which is 19.05 centimeters the handle is 4.5 to 5 inches which is 10.80 centimeters and the blade is 3.25 or 3 and a quarter inches which is 8.25 centimeters we have some cheap steel here oh yeah I had fun with this before today taking pictures with, with an entirely different camera but cameras didn't want to focus on this knife at all this has 12 c27 steel which is centric steel but still not a good steel i don't know why they've gone with why they haven't gone with c1228 or what is, is it 1428 that's what's normal now for the better steel but this 12c27 is not for knives which cost around 50 euro or dollar if we look at the knife the the clip can only be right side tip up which is enough for me because i'm right handed and so i'm the majority and that's good enough for me here you can see it's a liner lock and it has fully engaged but it is at the very very beginning so this is as perfect as it can be we have nice relatively thin steel liners on both sides okay got myself a flashlight this one is not in an upcoming review but we're gonna have so much so many flashlight reviews you're gonna puke when you even hear the name flashlight by that i meant i have a few upcoming now as you can see that the holes are milled out to reduce some weight but still let's check out the weight by the way i'm wearing my hamilton khaki field king auto which i bought as a present to me for having stopped smoking about one and a half months ago 
and three months not smoking is exactly how much this watch cost and the review is upcoming just so you know okay let's first do this in gram we have exactly 110.4 which is 3.89 ounces that's really not a lot but this knife really for a small knife is really really hardcore if you want a whister go on It is a nice knife that deploys very nicely. You have a nice finger groove for your index finger. Here you could put one finger here for some detail work. If you are gonna use it for, I don't know, some fiddling with some wood or something. I don't know how well you can see this, but the G10 is milled very nicely all over there. The edges are chamfered. Here you have a nice lanyard hole. And except for the backspacer, you have a really open construction. So there is really not a lot of gunk that gets stuck in there. At least I don't think so. And the blade has a very nice blade geometry, although I'm not entirely sure what kind of blade shape this is. Is it a saber or... I mean, Knife Center still calls this a drop point, which it, yeah, it kind of is, but... I think we talked about everything. It has bearings, it has stainless steel liners, it has a one-sided pocket clip, a very well standing liner for the liner lock. Let's check out its centering. And wow, this is centered perfectly. So if you want to go for, for a nice budget knife and best deck knives were all the rage six months ago which was about when i forgot about this knife and the other one but now still a great knife so you might want to grab this let's do some size comparisons first to a fura knife which i haven't reviewed yet on this channel but just to get your uh, whatever up this is one of the f it has some lock stick now but I never had a knife that deployed nicer than this one and you can see it's larger although barely with the handle size but a lot with the blade Then of course the channel mainstay, the large Incosi. And as you can see this is quite a lot bigger because with 3.25 this is pretty a pretty small knife. But here come the other contenders in this group here. We have the knife that maybe brought you here when you clicked on Advanced Knife Bros link here. So thanks for that by the way. Here we have the Kershaw Natrix. Oh, that's, we have to do that again. Ah, oh, that's nice. And these basically should be identical in length if you are capable enough in lining them up but this these lines help and they are pretty much exactly the total exact same length and here we have the Kershaw deadline which we will also try here this is a speed safe knife which now with all these nice and budget friendly um, folders I don't appreciate as much 
anymore. I mean, I haven't for many years, but I just got a few a few months ago because they were cheap. But now, when Kershaw to move to the to the uh, ball bearing knives. I had to too with the budget stuff because I follow Kershaw into hell and back and as you can see all these knives are basically the same length so what we can do if nothing else the blade thickness 3.20 exact and the handle thickness is 1.37 centimeters yeah that's basically it for this now now let's check out some cutting footage where i cut some paper and some cardboard that's always a high point of these videos Dear viewers, I hope you enjoyed this one and like I promised the next video will be um, a American MRE review because I promised that for way too long and haven't done it yet but it will be done with the next video but now I need to make a German video because I just did this as an emergency video since Knife Pro sent a few people my way so I thought better do a new knife review. After all he's advanced knife pro so he's advanced and probably his viewers are very advanced too. Just saying. Okay this is the knife I recommend it wholeheartedly it's a great knife except for the steel but hey what are you gonna expect for 50 bucks either euros or dollars get it if you're gonna get it at Amazon in Germany I'd appreciate it although I don't know what the price is there otherwise get it at Lamnia and if you live in the States knife center always knife center because they let me have their pictures which is nice of them okay thanks a lot for watching if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe to this channel it would really help a lot because i need to reach a thousand you know all the re-monetizing stuff and so on and also the likes like help and if you would leave a comment yeah by the way there's actually a good question i have to ask which knife under let's say 70 dollars do you wanna do you want me to review next please write down in the comments because i'm looking for a cheap knife okay but that's it now thanks a lot for watching bye bye